then how do you recognize enlightened being you can't <laughs> yeah. but that's not entirely true um whose ever company reminds you of god uplifts your mind yeah. that's a sign i don't know if it's an enlightened being but definitely a spiritually very advanced being let's be conservative about being enlightened let's be um not be in a hurry to say somebody is enlightened especially i am enlightened one monk put it very nicely if a person is enlightened and doesn't claim to be enlightened there's no harm done but if a person is not enlightened and claims to be enlightened lot of harm is done to the one's own spiritual progress first and foremost and to other people also so it's better not to claim to be enlightened or even to claim other people are enlightened but spiritually advanced you one gets there are certain signs uh, one is that upliftment you will feel in the company of such persons i have seen such persons just their presence they don't even have to give a talk they don't have to do ask swami question answer like i'm doing you just be in the presence maybe ex- exchange a few um, words or just be there you will feel uplifted you will feel purified like you have taken a bath um that's one um sign of a spiritually advanced person um person who inspires you in spiritual life swami vivekananda also gave a a criterion of strength does it strengthen you the company of the person the teaching of that person or does it make you more dependent if it strengthens you it true spirituality is there it makes you more spiritual 